setting new standards in podcast excellence. You have joined the WBT, fully focused on business and taxes. Here is your host, Michael Lodge. Welcome to the WBT. This is Michael Lodge. Okay, moms, dads, sons, daughter, one of you, maybe even this weekend, asked someone to marry you. It happens at this time every single year because June is coming around the corner. Everybody wants to have a June wedding. So they ask, they pop the big question. And they're waiting for a yes answer. But here's one big thing before you get that yes answer. In fact, even before you even pop the question, you have to ask this very important question. Are you financially compatible? That's a big question. A lot of you are coming into this relationship in this marriage with debt it's educational debt it's car loan debt it's credit card debt it could even be housing debt it could be a whole bunch of debt that you have not talked to your significant other about and it's vital that you do so it's so important because finances can destroy a relationship in a marriage If you let it get out of hand. So you have to ask the question. Are you financially compatible? Have you sat down. And gone over all of your finances. On both sides. It has to. Be done because you need to know. What you're walking into. It's it's important. To know that you as a husband are taking on her debt and she as a wife are, is taking on your debt or your financial problems. So it's very important that you sit down with your accountant. Forget about the minister. And listen, I am a minister. But I'm telling you, forget about your minister and go to your accountant, sit down, Run a credit report. See exactly on both sides, the husband and the wife, or the boyfriend and the girlfriend, need to run a credit report and go over every single item that's on that credit report so that everybody knows where you stand financially. Are you financially compatible? You may not be. And you may need a lot more work on those financials before you even say, I do. As an accountant myself and as an ordained minister, one of the questions that we always ask these individuals when they come in for counseling prior to saying I do is what are your financial issues? And there's always an issue of some kind. It's very rare that I've seen some couple come into my office and there is not a financial issue. I look at individuals now when they come in and do tax returns as boyfriend and girlfriend and one side has so much debt and the other side has nothing. But now that she's doing taxes together, the eyes are opening, the ears are opening because now they both understand where they are financially. So don't wait until you say I do because that's when the troubles begin. That's when the fights begin really bad. Before you say I do, work out the financial situations and how you're going to attack the problem if you have a problem. How are you going to attack that debt? How are you going to pay down that student loan? How are you going to pay down that car loan? Or maybe get rid of it and just buy a used car and think about your financial situation. Because you don't want to bring children into this world. You don't want to go out and buy a house if you are not financially prepared for it. Think about it. 
you moms and dads out there, encourage your children to look at their financial strengths or weaknesses and work on it before they say, I do. So each and every single one of you, if you've asked somebody to marry them, or marry someone, I'm sorry, if, if, or if you've been asked to be married, or if you have asked someone to, to marry you, sit down, ask the question, be honest with yourselves and say, are we financially compatible to go forward to the I do? I've seen so many fights. Listen, a few years ago, remember when we were going through the housing crisis? Everybody was losing their house. When clients came into me, into me during tax time, they were losing their houses. They were financially stressed. The next tax season, when they came into my house, they had all filed for a divorce. <laughs> it was like a cycle. First came the losing of the house, then came the financial situation with some declared bankruptcy, and then the divorces started to happen. Financial stress does a lot of damage to a divorce. I mean, to a marriage that leads to divorce. So now is the right time to sit down together. If you want to come into our office, call our office, and we will be more than happy to sit down with you because we feel so strongly about this. Make an appointment after tax season, <laughs> after April 15th. Come in and let's sit down and talk about this. Financial strength is important. Financial stress stress causes a lot of problems. <coughs> so, excuse me. So, let's sit down. You and your significant other ask the question, are you financially compatible? And then go forward. This is Mike Lodge with the WBT. If you have any questions, send me an email at mlodge at lodge co. Com. I'll talk with you soon. Thank you for listening to the WBT with Michael Lodge. Join us again tomorrow as we explore more about business and taxes. Follow us on iHeartRadio and go to our podcast website at www.wbtpod.com and listen to all of our podcasts and read our blogs. This is brought to you by Lodge Co., a business and tax advisory firm where your success is our goal. Call us today toll free at 888-681-1518 or visit us at www.lodge-co.com and learn more about what we can do for you. Lodge Co., your source for sound business and tax services.